Bienvenidos me, Alexa, and today we're going to be talking about Vikram Vera, which is a 2017 Tamil language film directed and written by uh, Pushkar and Gayatri and starring uh, Maravan as well as Vijay Sethupati in the two lead roles of Vikram and Veda. Just to let y'all know before we jump in, this will be a mostly spoiler-free review. I'll be going to spoilers a little bit at the timestamp on screen as well as in the description, um, but besides that, if you haven't seen the movie, feel free to keep on watching. Just skip ahead whenever I get to that bit. If you're gonna leave a comment that spoils the movie in any way, shape, or form, please, please, please write spoiler warning on it. I know a lot of people have seen this movie. It is three years old, but not everyone has, and we don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't, because we want to allow them to experience the movie to its fullest, and if we give them spoilers, and they might not be able to. So please just write a quick spoiler warning before any comments down below that contain spoilers. Also, really quickly, I wanna let y'all know that we have a Patreon, links in the description of all of our videos. Um, over there, we have three different tiers so that y'all can get involved in. Each of them have their own sets of exclusive content, and yeah, we're pretty happy with it. And so if you guys wanna go over and take a look and support the channel, we'd really appreciate that. All right, now let's get back to this review. So the film opens on this cute little animation um, where it tells a story. I believe it is like an older folklore tale. Um, it definitely sounds that way at the very least. And it tells this cool story of this guy going after the demon. That little animation, because at first I was like, why is this here? This is a little like weird. I'm not used to this. <laughs> and so I was like, but I don't li hate it, definitely. So I want to see why was this utilized. And as the story continued and we got all the way to the end of it, I realized that it really was a perfect setup for the entire film. It really just put you in the correct like style and tone to be ready to receive everything else in the best lighting possible. So in Vikram Veda, we follow Madhavan's character, which is Vikram, who is a very brave cop and has a very decisive uh, thought process whenever it comes to what is right, what is wrong. He doesn't believe there's any gray area in between. You're either doing the right thing or you're doing the wrong thing. And meanwhile, we have Veda, who's played by uh, Vijay Satupati, and he comes in and he lives more in that morally gray area that Vikram doesn't really believe exists at the beginning of the film. And so the movie itself has a whole message about what does it mean to be good and evil, moral, immoral, just, unjust, um, and it has this beautiful commentary on what the meaning of those words are and how they can change situation to situation, but also you can maybe believe that they don't change. It's always right, always wrong. So Vikram's character actually is the head of an encounter unit um, who are planning to try and get Veda. That's like their main goal is to get Veda. He's this big criminal. They want him, they want to encounter him, which of course uh, means to kill him. So as the film goes on, their relationship kind of grows because they have some encounters with each other. Um, they like both kind of mess with each other in different ways. Um, and we slowly get to learn about each of their stories, each of their thought processes, each of them, why they believe what they believe, etc., etc. And it turns into this beautifully woven story that teaches you a lot about what is right and wrong while also allowing you to still make your own decision about it. It never tells you exactly what to believe, it just tells you this situation and it gives you examples of things. And it sometimes will maybe push it towards believing in one side, but it never forces you to pick anything. It all allows you as an audience member to have the final say in what is right and wrong. And I really, really liked that about the movie. So the movie starts off and we have Vikram, who is like described as an honest cop everywhere I see a plot for it, but literally our first scene with him is him staging a crime scene to make it look like the reason they killed a person was justified because they believe it was because he was a criminal and so that's why they did it you know and that's if it's a criminal it's okay to kill them that's the belief system of these characters and like <laughs> but he's like staging a crime scene so there's not an investigation so i thought that was a really interesting way to set up our honest main character and i think that it did a lot to help perpetuate the message of um like what you believe is right and what you believe is wrong because there's a difference between what is right and wrong and sometimes and what you believe is right and wrong in a situation. You may think you're doing the absolute right thing at the time, but then you learn something else about it and you realize that it wasn't the right choice or vice versa, you know? There's so many things that factor into a situation. It's such a complex thought process and it's you really cannot define good or bad overall. There's certain things that are always good, certain things that are always bad, but there's so much in that gray area that it's such a fascinating conversation and I think that they handled it perfectly in this movie. Because of course there's a lot of movies that just have a message and they just drive that message home, but this one, it wasn't about it telling you a message, it was about teaching you how to decide on your own. 
what you want to believe is good or evil. So that's like the overall plot. Um, there's of course a lot of little like side plots. Like I really loved uh, Madhavan's character Vikram's relationship with his wife Priya, who's played by Shraddha Shranath. Um, they have this um, beautiful relationship where she's a lawyer as well. So you also get a bit of the commentary through them. Um, but they have this really great back and forth because he hates lawyers and she hates cops, but they love each other. <laughs> so that of course creates some really fun dialogue and also some really beautiful moments between the two of them as they work through their life together while also disagreeing with each other's professions, which can be very tricky. Um, and so the way that they navigate that relationship I thought was really beautiful. And a lot of that was amplified by the amazing acting from everyone involved in this movie. We're gonna start off with Madhavan because we were just talking about him and his wife anyways. He has some truly spectacular moments. There's one like sadder scene in the movie and his expressions and it he gives like this look and it is so so well done and there's just many of those moments throughout from not only him but also Vijay Satupati. He he's continuing to really impress me. I've only seen two full movies of his so far and I mean it was this in Super Deluxe so very different roles from him <laughs> and so i'm really excited to watch more because you can i mean just from these two movies i can see the versatility of his abilities and how strong of an actor he is and he also looks so different every single time i've seen him i've seen him in two movies and then i've seen two video songs from two different movies as well and he always looks so different um it like took me a second whenever he came on because he's all like um, he looks older in this movie they have like some gray in his hair and stuff and i was like wait is that is that yes okay that's him <laughs> i think that that's also great because it really just shows how he kind of becomes the character for each movie he's in and i find that extremely impressive how he's able to do it so convincingly so i'm definitely going to be watching some more Vaj vijay satupati movies but i also would like to see some more madhavan because he did a great job at this role i have not seen anything else from him yet so i'm not sure how versatile he is but at the very least he did a spectacular job with all the emotions in this, so I, I have a strong assumption that he's pretty versatile because he displayed a lot in this movie alone, so we will have to see. <laughs> so I could go on and on about acting, but honestly, to sum it all up, everyone did a great job. There was never a moment where a performance was not believable, and it was extreme. It was just, it was very well done on the acting front, um, and now we're going to move into editing and cinematography where also everything was well done. I really enjoyed the pacing of the film. I think that everything was delivered in a great way and I really liked, we have a few moments where we go into flashback and how they're told in a story is kind of the setting setup that they do for it. And whenever they do it, they have like this cute little title card that says like, has a little name for it. And it says how, many, how long ago we're flashing back to. And the first time it happened, I was like, I don't know if this quite fits, but as the story went on and I thought about the opening uh, animation that we had, I thought that it all actually worked really well and helped create a really nice stylized effect for the film. So I do think that that was a smart choice. I also like normally like title card stuff. I think they're kind of cool. Um, as long as they're used right, you know, you don't want them just thrown in. And I think that this was a really great way to make it really clear exactly what was happening while also keeping stylized with the movie and not really taking you out of it at all because it fit the style of what they were doing. And then the pacing between shots was really well done. It never felt like it was going too quickly or too slow. They really just kept it how long it needed to be for every shot. Where I thought the movie shone the most on like a technical standpoint was definitely the cinematography. They utilized their spaces extremely effectively to create these beautiful frames and shot compositions that showed you exactly what you needed to see in like the best way possible. So they utilized the camera and all the different layers of the setting that they had as well as the people to create these really dynamic shots that were engaging and also held like some nice little meanings in them. And there was a quite a few moments where I was like, ooh, that's a nice shot. <laughs> and a lot of these, it just came down to the framing of the shot. This film was definitely very different to a lot of Indian films I've seen in many regards, especially that was prominent in the amount of songs. They didn't really have any like fully takeaway song like moments where like you go into a different set or anything like that all the songs were incorporated into the things happening the most like takeaway one was you could either consider like there was a montage with like a romance earlier on and then there's also a fun like where they're like at a pub drinking all the friends but it all like still happens real time and with the movie they never have a full like takeaway moment like a lot of the films do which i do love those video songs as well but i think this was definitely the right call with this movie because it just fit the tone of it a lot better. I also really like the background music of the movie. It did a really great job of putting you into the emotions of the scene and elevating those emotions and just really putting you in the movie with them. I thought that the score just did a great job of lending to it. The music was done by Sam C.S. and he absolutely nailed it. There were also some fight scenes in it. I thought those were overall well done. There was a few times where like the blood was 
not the most realistic looking but i'm not too upset about that and but yeah the fight choreography i thought was well done they had some dynamic shots there's a few uh magic missing bullets you know <laughs> as you have in these kind of movies but overall the fight choreography was really realistic and well done i enjoyed watching it all right so one thing that i probably loved the most about this movie was the ending Obviously, I can't talk more about that without spoilers, so we are now entering our spoiler section. Skip on ahead to the time that I have on screen, um, and I'll be talking about my other like, final thoughts and given that shark rating. So yeah, jump on ahead to there if you haven't seen the movie, because I'm gonna tell you what happens at the end, so skip now. Let's go. Alright, so at the end of the movie, we have this beautiful shot where it's a bunch of dead people, <laughs> and you have Vikram and Veda standing there holding guns at each other. And... Then it ends. It just ends. It cuts to this beautiful wide shot. And I thought there was maybe going to be like a gunshot noise there, but there wasn't even that. And then it just cuts to credits. And at first I was like, I was not expecting that. I don't think I've seen a movie with like an open end and ending like that in an Indian film yet. And I'm sure there's plenty of others, but I had not seen any yet. So I really wasn't expecting that. And so that probably also added to my liking of it. But I also just, I like open-ended endings when they're utilized properly, and this was the perfect use of an open ending. So, because, I mean, the whole moral question of it is what's right and what's wrong. That's like the overall message of the movie. And so, to have that final moment where the audience gets to decide what is right and what is wrong, what do they think should happen, what do they think shouldn't happen, is the perfect way to end the audience, because you want them to be questioning that. Whenever they leave, you want to be questioning what's right, what's wrong, what do I believe is right, is that what's actually right, etc, etc. And I think leaving it at that moment where you get to decide what you think should have happened. And it really like creates a conversation. And that's what this film is about, creating a conversation about what's moral, immoral, etc. You know, all the different ways you can word it. And <laughs> they did it perfectly. Like it was one of the best uses of open ending I've seen in a long time. And because it just drove that message home in a beautiful way to create some discussions, and I love discussions. <laughs> I don't know what I think should have happened. I, what I think probably did happen, based on what we learned about the two characters, I think that they either both walked away or Vikram shot Veda. That's what I think probably happened. And I'm not sure. I don't know. It's so hard. There's you could make an argument for all endings. So it's it's really great and I love that about it. Please leave what you guys think in the comments, but please, please, please put spoiler warning. Oh yeah, I loved that ending. Okay. We're done with spoilers, everybody. Overall thoughts. I thought that the overall message of it was a very compelling one and it was executed extremely well while, by utilizing great writing, acting, cinematography, editing, as well as background music and a great, great, great ending of the movie. And so, because of that, this movie is indeed getting a great white shark rating. <laughs> All right, so, you know, we're having so many good movies lately. I'm, I love it. I really like giving high ratings, but I think there's gonna be like too many soon in these high rating categories and it making it like, or every time I rate a new movie, it makes it harder to rate the next one, I feel like. <laughs> the movie wasn't perfect, I will say that. You know, there's definitely a little, some small issues you can nitpick about it, but overall, I thought that this movie was extremely well executed, and the most important thing about it was that it had this strong message, and they delivered that message so well. I think if the ending had been different, it probably would have been a lower category, but because of the ending that they chose, it, it puts it here in that great white. Alrighty, so that is all I have to say about Vikram Veda. Please leave all of your thoughts in the comments down below with spoiler warnings if they contain spoilers. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe and check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I hope that you all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!